Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about how I use my HSA to invest in FinTech. Using your health savings account to invest in the stock market is the best way to grow your account over time. Your HSA account isn't only made for you to pay for health expenses, but it also allows you to invest in the stock market, whether it's individual stocks, ETFs, or mutual funds. That way you can actually grow the amount of money in your health savings account over the long term. It is essentially a retirement account, just like an IRA or a 401k. And so if you have an HSA that allows you to invest in either individual stocks or ETFs, that makes it even better. And so if your current HSA provided to you by the company that you work for, linked to your health insurance account, if it doesn't allow you to invest in individual stocks or ETFs and only gives you the option to invest in mutual funds, don't worry. Because as long as you have a high deductible health plan, you can open an HSA account with any provider that you choose. Not only that, but you can open multiple HSA accounts with multiple providers. But do keep in mind that the limits for each year do apply to all of your accounts. So if you have two HSA accounts, the limit is not per HSA account. The limit is per person or per family. And so for 2021, the limits for what you can deposit in your HSA account have gone up. And so in 2020, the limit for individuals for deposits in your HSA was $3,550. That has now gone up to $3,600. And for families, it was $7,100, and it has now gone up to $7,200. So if you wanted to max out your HSA for 2021, that means you will need to deposit it $300 every month in order to reach that limit. And if you have an HSA for your family, then that would need to be $600 in order to max it out. And personally, I like to max out my HSA before I max out any of my other retirement accounts, whether it's an IRA or a 401k. And I have a video where I explain why I max out my HSA first. So make sure you check that out. But in 2021, I plan to use part of my HSA deposits to invest in fintech. And so I have one HSA, which is provided to me by my job, but I also have a separate HSA that I opened with the company Lively. Now, the reason I chose Lively specifically, although there are many companies that you could open your HSA with as a separate account for whatever your job has provided, is because with Lively, I'm able to invest in individual stocks as well as ETFs. Now, Lively uses TD Ameritrade for the actual brokerage account part of your HSA. And I've used TD Ameritrade for many years. It is one of my favorite investment platforms. And not only that, but I have multiple accounts with TD Ameritrade and they make it easy for you to log in using one account and to be able to view your multiple other accounts, whether it's a traditional brokerage account or it's an IRA or in this case, an HSA. And so with TD Ameritrade, once you have a brokerage account with them, you can, you can pretty much invest in any stocks or ETFs or mutual funds that are available via the TD Ameritrade brokerage accounts. And so as a fun way to kind of go with the tune of what I talk about on a weekly basis, I talk about investment apps and cashback apps and other apps considered in this fintech space, I thought it would be cool to invest in the very things that I talk about on a weekly basis. And so one way that I can invest in multiple fintech companies is by investing in an ETF. Now, an ETF is an exchange traded fund. It is essentially a basket of stocks, a group of stocks that are all included and you can buy it within one specific asset. And there are many different companies that make ETFs like Vanguard or Charles Schwab or Fidelity and many other companies out there. But the specific ETF that I'm investing in using these HSA funds and I deposit $100 every month, the specific ETF that I invest in is the ARK Invest FinTech Innovation ETF. Now this ETF holds many different companies that have some type of connection to FinTech. And now they may not be companies that are only FinTech companies. The companies may have several other things that they market or that they sell to users, but all of these companies have some relation to FinTech. So some of the top holdings are Square, which of course people use Square to make payments at a lot of local small businesses. Mercado Libre, which is a company in South America. It is a company very similar to Amazon where you can buy things online and they also have their own payment system. So they're kind of like a mix of Amazon and PayPal. Zillow, which is a company where you can buy real estate or do research on real estate. Pinterest, which is a website people use to sell their products online or to at least market their products online. 
And then the next holdings, there's a company called CLTD, which is based in Singapore, Tencent Holdings, which is a Chinese company, Lending Tree, which is a US based company, Intercontinental Exchange, and then Alibaba, which is considered the Chinese Amazon, also kind of a mix of Amazon and PayPal together because they have their own payment app as well. And you may also have heard of Amazon, PayPal, Apple, Facebook, Twilio, and Snapchat. And so you have similar companies that are international, that are very similar to Amazon and PayPal, as I mentioned, Alibaba in China and Mercado Libre in Brazil. And so several of these companies are very diversified. Like, as I mentioned, Amazon is not only a fintech company. Pinterest isn't only a fintech company. There are other things that they're invested in or that they provide products or services in, not just within fintech. And so you're actually pretty diversified, even though you're investing in finance specific technologies with these companies. And so there are many different fintech ETFs out there. And so I'm not suggesting that you specifically may want to invest in the ARK Invest fintech ETF. If you wanna do your research and find other ETFs just like this, whether it's another fintech ETF, or maybe you're a person that's really interested in clean technology or electric vehicles or biotech, whatever the thing that you're interested in, the things that you research or that you may know a lot about, then you should invest in those companies and investing in an ETF is an easy way to do that. That way you can invest in multiple companies without actually picking the individual stocks yourself. And of course, the way you can be even more diversified is by investing in an S&P 500 ETF or a total stock market ETF. That way you're invested in all of the several companies, no matter what sector, whether it's finance, technology, biotech, healthcare, no matter what the sectors are, when you're investing in a total stock market ETF or even an S&P 500 ETF, you're investing in lots of different companies and you're getting that average stock market gains versus investing in one particular sector. Now, the reason I'm using just a small portion of the funds that I invest in my HSA to invest in FinTech is because these are things that I like to read about and talk about on a weekly basis. So I thought it would be cool to invest in these companies as well. So if you're interested in learning more about technology companies, specifically dealing with investments or cashback apps and credit card cashback cards, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do weekly videos where I talk about investing apps, cashback apps, savings accounts, many things within the fintech space that you want to learn about, or maybe even companies that you've never heard of or products that you've never heard of. And then that way you can use these apps to help with your everyday financial life. And if you currently invest using your HSA, make sure you leave a comment below to talk about what specific investments you use your HSA to invest in, whether it's a total stock market index fund or S&P 500 index fund, or whether you're actually investing in individual stocks within your HSA account. And if your current HSA provider does not allow you to invest in individual stocks or into ETFs, and the only option you have are mutual funds, then make sure you check out Lively. I did a review of Lively in the past, and also have a referral link, which will be provided in the description below. So if you choose to use Lively as your HSA provider, you can start depositing money into Lively as your HSA account, and then you can open a TD Ameritrade account, which will then allow you to have a brokerage account, which invests in individual stocks using your HSA funds. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.